Hello and welcome to Center Ice Cardcast, your one-stop podcast shop for all things hockey cards. My name is Eric Andrews, also known in the hobby as Hammerhawks, and I'm joined by my co-host and fellow hobbyist Aaron Goldstein, better known as Crease Collector. Hello, sir. Hey there. So to get things started off for our first episode, uh, we just wanted to begin by sharing a bit more about the podcast and what can be expected in, in the future. All right, so what is the Center Ice card cast? Um, pretty much what we're going to do here, what our plan is, is just to address uh, the number of subjects within uh, the hobby right now and just trying to get things just broken down as best we possibly can for you, you guys out there. And uh, what we're going to do as like a general format moving forward is we're going to uh, discuss a general of amount of hobby topics the ones that we think about, the ones you guys mentioned um, off the air. Uh, we're going to be breaking down uh, some new products as well. And periodically, we're also going to have some guest interviews, uh, just sharing about their uh, experiences in the hobby. And we're really looking forward to that. We already have one or two lined up, so we can't wait you guys for to hear that. And pretty much we're going to do uh, just like a bi-weekly um, podcast. There's not really a set schedule we're going for, but we'll update you as we go on our new episodes. And we're hoping to have a consistent release schedule moving forward. And this podcast will be available on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, and as well as YouTube. And so I'm just going to have Eric explain just why this whole thing came to be. So I had thought about this idea a little bit on and off um, for quite a while. And really what made me want to actually take the jump and go for it was a combination of added free time over the last few months, as well as not really being aware of any other podcasts that really focus specifically on hockey cards. Um, there are a lot of other sports card podcasts, but they pretty much focus on baseball, basketball, and football, and they rarely, if ever, talk about hockey cards. So I thought that it would be good um, for our hobby to have a podcast devoted purely to the hockey card hobby. And from there, just started brainstorming how to go about that and, and what I wanted it to look like, um, and eventually got Aaron on board and know that he's um, also excited about this endeavor that we're going on. Um, super stoked. Super so, stoked. Thanks for yeah. the invite, by the way. Oh, absolutely. Um, so, I mean, that's really what and why um, Center Ice Card Cast is a thing at this point. Um, and so that kind of touches on the background of the podcast itself. Um, and we also thought that it would be good to share a little bit more about ourselves, both personally and as collectors. A lot of listeners might recognize our name, but you might not know um, a whole lot about us as people or even as collectors. Um, so maybe, Aaron, if you want to share a little bit about your hobby background and what you enjoy about the hobby and things like that. Definitely. Um, well, I mean, like most listeners, probably, I got involved right from the get-go when I was a young kid. Uh, so what got me into the hobby, honestly, would just, you know, like any young kid, just grabbing packs at the local convenience store. Pretty typical story. And I had a big pole binder of it when I was a kid. And then unfortunately, um, we moved and I lost every single card I had. I lost the big binder with all my cards. It was devastating as a like six-year-old. So I still, <laughs> I still will never live that down for my entire life. But um, I got older and um, I found a handful of these cards that I had from my childhood. I I wish I could tell you the names, honestly, and be all, you know, nostalgic, and, but I can't. I can't tell you the names because I don't know. They're super old, but um, hello, 90s cards. <laughs> a million of them out there. Um, but pretty much that kind of sparked my love for the hobby again. So when I really got in the hobby, I guess for real, was probably about 2005, 2006. Um, it wasn't the Crosby Ovechkin hype that specifically brought me in. It was just kind of a, you know, a timing thing. Um, I was playing hockey at the time and still do. And I just loved, um, you know, just collecting cards. And I kind of got over the whole losing my card collection thing. And then um, I'm like, man, I got to pick this stuff back up again. And so I saved more money from my, you know, very, very sad allowance. <laughs> and I just uh, bought more cards when I could. And uh, yeah, it's been smooth sailing ever since. And um, what do I enjoy most about the hobby? Um, honestly, it depends. It depends. Like, like when I first got into the hobby, it was just cards. Like any card that I can get was my favorite and just, I loved it. Um, as I get older now, I'm 27. For those who don't know, um, 
I, I enjoy it like in a much different way. I think as I get older, um, when I was a, when I was a kid, it was very um, like more about myself, I guess you could say, and, and what I could achieve and what, what I could get. But as I get older, I, I just love seeing what other collectors can pick up for their collections and um, mm-hmm. and just and just experiencing that joy with them. I think is just really cool for me. But as far as my own collection goes, just I think we can all kind of agree. Just picking up that one card, like it, it doesn't have to be rare or super valuable, but just picking up that one card that you've been searching out for a long time. I think that just slowly brings me back once again to why I started collecting in the first place. And because at the end of the day, it's just about the cards for me. It's not so much about the value. It's about the cards. So I think just finding a card, regardless of value that you've been searching for a long time is a really big uh, enjoyment fact for me and my uh, personal collection. Um, and what do I collect specifically? Uh, well, when I first started, um, I kind of honed in on the goalies. Uh, I'm a goalie myself. I'm sure some of you guys already know that. So I just collected a bunch of the goalies, um, just like Broder, Belfour, um, Carey Price, Mark andre Fleury. Like, those are my guys. And then um, I started collecting a small Swedish goalie by the name Jonas Enroth. And I'm sure none of you guys know who he is until you've followed, you know, my collection threads and stuff. And you kind of know who he is through that. But um, he's a very uh, undersized goalie like myself. And so I just kind of love the way he played. And I'm like, man, I got to get every single card of this guy. So I'm kind of well on my way to that. There isn't much that I don't have, but um, I just love picking up those cards for the collection, no matter where he plays, which is unfortunately the SHL as far as next season goes. But um, that's me. And if you guys have any questions about that, um, let me know. And of course, a lot of people in this hobby might know you more by your username instead of your actual name. Exactly. Do you, exactly. Do you that's to... why I was saying if you can use my username as much as possible, because no one would know Aaron. I think they would know Chris Collector a lot more. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have probably, you know, seen my names in the films a couple of times. I pretty much live there. So, um, you know, it's been fun. I'm also a moderator on Sports Card Forum for you guys listening to the site. So if you have any questions about that, definitely let me know. Cool. And I mean, it seems like it would be a little kind of obvious, but do you want to explain a little bit about why you chose that username? Oh, yeah. I, I got a couple of questions about it over the years. I guess a couple a couple times a year I'll get um, private messages about that. Like, like dude, your name, like why Crease Collector? And people have been said that um, that my username is because I collect like crumpled up and creased cards, but that's not it at all. It's just the, the, the reason why I chose my name is just, it was an old um, username that I first started when I first joined the forums um, when Clutes and Char was around. The forums are no longer active. Unfortunately, they, they actually shut them down, but it was the first ever um, forum that I ever joined. And so as, as soon as I was thinking of a username i'm like man i love goalies i'm a goalie myself um i collect all these goalies why not just you know use an increase collector because goalies are always in the crease and stuff like that so that's why i chose the username i did it has nothing to do with the condition of cards although i don't really like graded cards but um yeah so that's why i chose my name just crease collector goalie collector you know that kind of thing not a bad username, if I don't say so myself. No, it's very catchy, and I think a lot of people love it. When, Go yeah, away. yeah. When I think of people on the forums and good usernames, like that's one of the first ones I always think that, of. That was my goal to be loved and adored by all on uh, on card forums. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. And I guess turning to myself a little bit, I I first got into the hobby probably around two thousand three or two thousand four. Um, I was probably about seven or eight years old at the time, depending on when exactly I started. But um, my hockey coach actually used cards as a way of rewarding us um, for a number of things, whether that be, um, you know, we were working hard in practice or we had a good game. He would give us either a pack of cards or just a handful of cards. That's actually Um, really cool. And so I think that was really the first exposure I had to them. And then my dad actually kind of followed up on that and also did that just for me at home as well, um, which is cool. I mean, that was a a good way to enjoy something together. Um, And then I also had a cousin who was really big into cards at the time. Um, He was a, a big time collector. He would break a ton of boxes and be trading and selling and buying and doing all kinds of things. And I just thought that was the coolest thing ever. 
Um, and so I really looked up to him as well. Um, so those were really my early days in the hobby. And then just growing up throughout my childhood, I just kept getting more involved and more interested um, and started collecting a few players um, over the years. Never really stuck with any of them super well. Like I'd collect a guy for a year or two and then move on and collect a different guy and move on. Um, and it wasn't until probably 2009 or so when I really started focusing in my collection and focusing on Nicholas Jalmerson, who's the guy that um, a lot of people know like me. true for. player collecting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. True so, hardcore player collecting. Yeah, exactly. Um, Return to the dark side. I love it. <laughs> so around 2009 is when I started collecting him and his, his rookie season was 08, 09. Um, love so that year. Pretty, pretty much have collected him ever from the get-go, which has obviously helped me in finding rare cards of his as well. Um, just staying on top of it as things come out. Um, why I enjoy the hobby. I mean, there's a number of reasons. I think what you said, Aaron, about enjoying it with other people is such a, an important part of it to me. I think that's huge, especially now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I think getting involved, um, online and on forums is a really good way of experiencing that. Um, just because, I mean, like, Aaron and I live in different countries. We've never met each other, but we have, you know, this friendship. That's through. true, too. We should mention that. I'm from Canada. Yeah, and I, I grew up in the Chicago suburbs. So we've never met each other, but we've developed this friendship just through cards. Um, and now this podcast. Yeah, exactly. And through I think the internet. True. And Pretty I think much that's, I think that's really cool. Um, you know, there's a number of people that I've never met or have never even come close to meeting that I consider you know to be good friends within the hobby so i just think that's such a rewarding aspect of it and i, I touched a little bit on what i collect um nicholas jalmerson is really the main guy that i'm known for in the hobby but i also collect um a few other players i collect jacob slavin of the hurricanes ryan dezingle who also plays for the hurricanes now Derek whitmore he used to play for the buffalo sabers he's retired now and brogan rafferty who's coming up in the Vancouver Canucks system. And a lot of people might think, you know, that's such a random smattering of players that a lot of people might not even know who those guys are. I think all of our collections are like that. We have that common theme of guys who will never make the NHL or, <laughs> or not make the NHL. But we'll make the NHL, but we'll never make the Hall of Fame ever in their dreams. Yeah. And, <laughs> that's pretty much our theme. Yeah. But I love it. I love it. Yeah. And Jalmerson jumping back to him he was just a guy that stood out to me on the blackhawks who were my favorite team growing up um, so that's why i collect him but as far as the other guys that i mentioned i'm friends with each of them I, I know them personally so i have just collected their cards and yeah i mean even though they're not uh overly valuable for the most part or not the most desirable it's really rewarding to get a new card of a friend and just no, I think that's true. really cool. That's awesome. So, no, it's a sweet story. As soon as I learned about why you collect, who you collect, it just, um, it resonates with me perfectly. So I totally get that. Definitely do. I think that, I mean, that's pretty much it about my background. Your kind of background hobby. as a yeah. collector. Um, we'll probably get into it um, later on in different episodes to kind of figure out more about us and more about why we collect, who we collect again, and just kind of more deeper into that. Yes. Um, as far as our next two episodes are concerned, th this episode was just kind of like a meet the podcast crew kind of thing. But as far as our next two episodes go, um, likely this weekend, we're going to be doing uh, episode two of this podcast. We're going to be previewing the virtual card expo, um, which if, for those who haven't heard, uh, since obviously the expo is canceled this year with the, the COVID-19, um, there is a virtual card expo going on and it all the details haven't been announced yet, but we're going to be giving you kind of like a rundown of what's going on for that. And uh, we're also going to be reviewing uh, 1920 SPA, which is a really cool product. It got pushed um, to this Wednesday, I believe. So um, we're going to be hopefully, if it doesn't get pushed again, we're going to be just giving you a rundown of, of our kind of first thoughts about this new product. SPA is always a big 
fan favorite every year. So we're looking forward to, uh, you know, give you guys the, the a review on that. Uh, and episode three, probably about mid June, we're going to be interviewing our first guest uh, with Jeremy Lee of uh, the owner of Hobby Insider, and now Sports Cards Live, which is a uh, live stream of videos that is on YouTube. And for those who haven't heard about it or haven't listened to any episodes, I really suggest you go there. Um, either you can connect with Jeremy on Hobby Insider Forms or just, you know, search it up on YouTube, Sports Card Live, and you will see a, a massive amount. I, th- I think he's about 14 episodes now, but a massive amount of just hobby insider knowledge from uh, collectors, from, you know, the insiders in the hobby, uh, including one of my favorites, Dr. Price. That was a fantastic episode. Uh, I don't want to pump it up too much because I want Jeremy to kind of speak to it a little bit more, but we're going to be having him on as a guest. Cannot wait for that. That's going to be incredible. And uh, moving forward with this, um, aside from our uh, next couple of episodes, uh, I just want to pose the question to uh, the listeners out there. I know there was a few there on the forums uh, through Twitter as well, um, who just kind of were asking me a couple of questions earlier today. And I just want to pose the question about what you would like to hear us talk about in future episodes. Um, we're going to try to post these up on our social media accounts. Definitely keep an eye out for that. Um, just as we get going here and moving forward, we just want to hear from you about um, just any topics you'd like to hear, any questions for us that we will kind of go through on the air here and just give you you know more insight into the hobby itself or as far as like us as collectors or just any other questions that kind of come to mind. And that's what we're going to be looking forward. So definitely interact with us, whether it's, you know, through the forums or through Twitter or anything like that. And we'll definitely get to you when we can. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I think that's an aspect of this that we might not have touched on enough earlier. We really want this to be interactive. We want to hear from you guys. Definitely. You know, that's what is really going to make this fun for everybody. You know, when we were going through the planning for this, we, we posed the question to ourselves, what would we want to be listening to? That's true. So we want to know, like, if there's a topic, you know, in the hobby that you think, you know, hey, this, this, I, I want to hear about this. Let us know. Um, or if there's like a guest that you guys want featured on that you personally would like to hear from, let us know, put it in a comment somewhere, tweet us anything, and we'll try to get that guest on. If you want to hear for, a, you know, a certain guest um, and, and pose some questions to them, if we get them on the show, definitely. Like, guys, like, if there's any... Um, moving forward here again. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but if you guys have any questions or any suggestions for us going, going forward, um, definitely give us a shout because we're new at this. We haven't filmed a podcast in our life. Um, so, I mean, we're definitely new at this whole thing, uh, but we definitely want to hear from you guys. And like Eric was saying, just making an interactive uh, podcast, just make it a two way street. And um, we're definitely looking forward to it. This is only episode one. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's just the beginning. And Another thing with that, like Jeremy's sports card live is great because he's, whether he wants to accept it or not, he is very much a high profile person within the hockey yeah, card hobby. Yeah, 100%. And, and he's he, super tall. <laughs> True. He's like, he's, if, you can, if you guys haven't met Jeremy in real life, he is at least, oh, I would say he's like eight feet tall. Something, something like, like Michael Jordan has nothing on him. If you guys have seen the last dance, he's, he's, he's really tall. Um, I've met him once at the, at the expo and I'm super short. So he just seems like an eight foot giant to me. So he's super tall and he definitely oversees the hobby, both um, from a kind of intellectual standpoint, but also a physical standpoint. He is, he's <laughs> tall. <laughs> anyway. He is. But yeah, going off of that, we are kind of more just your average people within the hobby. So we don't want it to feel like, you know, we're unapproachable or that you aren't important to us. You know, we want to hear from everybody. You know, any, anything on your mind, let us know. Um, as far as guests, um, we obviously have mentioned Jeremy, but just kind of looking at the general scope of people that we would be having on would be other collectors, other people in the hobby. Hopefully that we can make some relationships with people working for manufacturers and we can get some insight from them as well about, you know, a lot of their products and potentially um, even getting some players on as well, um, whether that be current players or more, more than likely some retired players um, just talk about their experiences with cards. Yeah. I think, I think, um, 
all the listeners out there would be really surprised at, at the amount of collectors exist in in NHL hockey. There, there, there are a lot of collectors out there. I mean, I think Upper Deck did a thing um, with Clues and Trial actually a couple years ago, and they had collectors on, you know, rip and pack, stuff like that. And a lot of them actually did collect or, or did collect their cards. So just hearing from certain players, we, we've, you know, talked about a couple of names that we can bring on uh, who do collect or have collected in the past. And it's, it's really cool hearing about those experiences as well. And we'll see. We have some names for you. Yeah. The players will probably be more of a, a special guest. I don't think that'll be super regular. Yeah, because they play hockey. Like, yeah, not right now, but... They're busy. <laughs> They've got better things to do than come on our podcast. But Especially, you know, a night for a game, playoff game seven. Hey, do you want to talk hockey cards for a bit? <laughs> of course. Yeah, so, I mean, that pretty much is going to do it for our um, our pilot episode, so to speak. Um, so please be sure to follow us on social media. We can be found on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Center Ice Cardcast, and on Twitter at Center Ice CC. Please be sure to subscribe to our show as well on the podcast platform of your choice to make sure you never miss a future episode. Until next time on Center Ice Cardcast, keep collecting those hot cards.